Welcome to the Cinemagic Preview Show. On this episode, we'll be reviewing Here Are the Young Men. I oh, you think your car is broken, sir. I expected more from you, Matthew. Is this who you want to be? They say the summer when you finish school is the best time of your life. Your final summer of freedom. When you become a man, it's important. We just didn't realize how important it would be. Boys, we're free. I love you so <laughs> I think you look great pregnant. Has anyone ever told you you have an extremely punchable face? I saw a girl get knocked over today. She died. But you're fine. Yeah? It's an ad to make you. Joseph Harney! Well, that's the final big blowout of the summer. God is in his church! <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the real man! What was in the bag, sugar? What do you think was in the bag, Matthew? You knew what he was like, I told you. Of course we are. Body of Christ. Amen. What do our Cinemagic reviewers think? Hello, my name is Rosa Scott and welcome back to the Cinemagic Preview Show. On today's episode, I'll be reviewing the film Here Are the Young Men, starring Dean Charles Chapman, Finn Cole, Anya Taylor-Joy and more. Here Are the Young Men is a brilliant thriller about three young boys who really become men after a traumatic experience that they all face together. After this trauma, we can see how their lives change as well as their own characteristics and their maturity levels and how they change as well and how their approaches to life and their attitudes towards others also change. This is an adaptation of a novel by Rob Doyle and it revolves around a group of uh, friends who have just finished secondary school and it basically takes place during uh, the summer following their uh, leaving cert exams and it tracks their attempts to figure out what they're going to do in the foreseeable future and as we follow this group of friends we witness how their journeys vary from going on very dark paths to forging uh, relationships, romantic and platonic and the pitfalls potentially of feeling a bit lost and overwhelmed by the possibilities that come with the transition into adulthood. This film deals with a lot of very real and very serious subjects and we get to see these characters in conflict as they try to navigate their way through their lives. Something that really struck me about this film was the cinematography immediately right off um, right off the bat like in the first scene um, I loved the, the colour grading and the cinematography um, they filmed in some really like interesting locations um, that really uh, gave this vibrant uh, colour to the film which um, kind of ties into the the whole motif of um, say sensationalist TV and game shows um, there's a very bright colour palette um, despite the kind of gritty narrative that was going on uh, I thought the, uh, the colour grading the cinematography was great um, really interesting editing choices uh, visually kind of crafting the story and, and um, uh, close up shots like when you're kind of the characters are letting you in and uh, some f mixed with like wide shots you know uh, when uh, they're like distant and there were some mirror shots like very visually the, the story was um, it was telling a visual story uh, like I was saying tying into the motif of um, the television uh, character and personas they put on. There are a number of scenes in this film which take advantage of brilliant lighting using lots of colours to portray the emotions of the characters visibly on screen which is beautiful and I felt really added to the whole unusual atmosphere as a lot of the characters are under the influence of drugs or alcohol or something most of the time. Soundtrack was also something that 
complemented the colour palette, you know, the electronic dance music, um, the clubbing scene, it was very much influenced by that. In terms of the presentation of the media within this film, there is so much to unpack and it was absolutely fantastically done. The media within the film was primarily through television or, or um, and TV shows and stuff like that. And they put the characters in the position of, of, of actors or celebrities being interviewed. I cannot explain it that in a way that truly shows how brilliant it was. I thought it was absolutely fantastic and it really showed off the characters and it showed off their their true selves, as well as emphasising how the media kind of glorifies certain characters when they really shouldn't. It glorifies everything um, a person does and how that can be so toxic for a person. And I thought the kind of recurring theme of, of kind of the television being on in the corner and kind of influencing what we do, I think it was kind of a hidden message within the film that I really liked. I don't know whether that's the full purpose of it, but that's what I saw and I really enjoyed that idea and I really enjoyed their presentation of the media. This film was incredibly touching and all the performances from all of the actors were astounding and I felt like the stories really hit home and I could feel the emotion and the passion behind them. This one has a couple of very recognisable uh, names in uh, Dean Charles Chapman and Annie Taylor-Joy and the chemistry between the main group of uh, Leeds is really strong. He really binds their friendship from the outset and this makes some of the events later in the film much more uh, harrowing and uh, quite disturbing to watch because this film does venture into quite dark territory in the sense that it looks at how some teams can become obsessed with things like drugs and other very uh, dangerous addictions. The thing that I noticed when I first got sent an email to review this film was the cast. I saw Travis Fimmel, I saw Finn Cole, I saw Anna Taylor-Johnson and I thought, yes, I am watching this. And I was right, the cast was brilliant and the acting was fantastic. And I think Finn Cole definitely really stood out because he really pushed the potential of his character Kearney and he really made him so malicious. There was something really unsettling he brought to the character and he really brought across how this toxic masculinity, I guess you could call it, had kind of invaded his life and his attitude to life, you know, and he, I thought he did that brilliantly. I did think his accent, his Irish accent was a little weak in places. You often find that with, with um, non-Irish actors playing Irish characters, that their accent turns a little bit American. Finn Cole did turn a little bit American every now and again, but other than that, I thought his performance was absolutely brilliant and I actually thought overall the acting was definitely really gripping and it really drew you in and I really enjoyed it. Personally for me, I didn't really like how they developed the characters um, in the film, but I think that the actors gave brilliant performances despite this. There was a lot of um, nuance in their performances, uh, particularly Finn Cole playing Carney, he gave a really, really driven uh, performance because his character was, was just off the charts crazy. I <laughs> Wow, it was really intense. But um, it was just very, very good acting. Um, loved the cast, brilliant cast, um, amazing actors. I think this film will appeal very much to a younger, uh, young adult demographic and it's really a film that will resonate with them in terms of how difficult it can be to adjust to post uh, secondary school life and try to forge a path for yourself uh, as you enter adulthood and especially how friendships can become fractured as a result. The age rating for this film is only a 15 however I would recommend it to a slightly older audience as there are a lot of difficult subjects mentioned in this film and dealt with and it may be more suited to an older audience to watch this film. I would not let a 15 year old watch it, if I'm honest. I would advise extreme caution in watching this film. While there's no graphic guts or gore, violence, nudity, anything like that, there is a dressing of, of drug and alcohol abuse, but it's more the characters themselves. I think they just are so, malicious and they're so dangerous and yet at the same time they're so realistic. 
it's tough watching. It is brilliant. The acting is absolutely, it really grips you. And I think the, the writing is brilliant. There's no kind of stiff dialogue that makes you go, oh, why did you say that? You know, which often happens. Um, I, I think that it is a brilliant film, but I would definitely say watch with caution. You know, it, it, it deals with some very mature themes and it deals with them in a very extreme yet blunt manner. But all in all, I think um, I loved the visuals of the film. I thought it looked very brilliant. The editing, technically, it was, it was a wonderful film. Um, but the story, I think, personally for me, they didn't develop the characters enough in a satisfactory way. And I think the story, I felt, almost kind of glamorized a lot of um, events that were occurring uh, in maybe not the best possible way, personally. But I think um, I think visually it was wonderful. The cast did a brilliant job. Maybe the story wasn't something I connected with. I would recommend that you watch it anyways. I think um, it definitely deals with some uh, very complex themes and pr prominent themes of drinking and taking drugs and a youth culture. So uh, here are the young men. I would definitely give it a watch. Overall, I would give this film a four out of five as I feel like it's an amazing story which is depicted really well on screen. It's good to see um, attention being brought to problems that young people have these days, such as drug use and sexual assault and other issues like that. Overall, I really enjoyed the film. I thought the acting was fantastic, although there were a few slip ups of the old Irish accent, but sure, we'll let it slide. Um, I thought the character development was absolutely incredible. I thought it was brilliant. And I thought the writing and the dialogue was very naturalistic and I enjoyed it. Um, I often find that some dialogue, especially in quite dramatic films, can be come across quite stiff, but um, it, I thought it was absolutely brilliant and the cast was fantastic. I enjoyed the really unique cinematography and the presentation of the media within the film and how the characters al almost integrated with the media. I thought it was brilliant. I hope you really enjoy it, but I would say watch it with caution. It does address some very mature themes, but it addresses them well and it certainly doesn't glorify them in any way and I really enjoyed that. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe.